I get to warn you, we're dealing with a lot of different rules here, right? In this chapter, exponent rules. These are technically exponent rules, but, but they look different. So you're, you're having a lot of things to do. I mean, take my advice to heart. Really start going back and studying this before your test. Not the night before, like the week before. You need that time. <laughs> what? What's the test? <laughs> oh, two weeks. So now? No. No, no. Next, Next week? We I mean, say? yeah. I mean, Take yeah. weeks. Did <laughs> <laughs> I just say no? Don't say it. Oh, no. I would never say that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, but if you're if you're not gonna if you're gonna study for just a certain period of time, I, mean, I have told you to spiral this information, right? I mean, review it every once in a while. Oh, yeah, erase this square root. I'm sorry. Erase that. I have told you to spiral it in, so look back at old material every once in a while. That's a really good idea, actually. Okay, so this one, instead of looking like a first example, we actually look at our, our second example here. We have a FOIL situation. We're going to distribute these just like we would anything else with two terms, but we've got two terms that are not combinable. So when we FOIL this, let's watch carefully what happens. Don't distribute it in your head. Write it out. Write it out and make sure it looks like this. Because that way you, you're going to clue yourself into, oh, here I can combine them. Here I can't. When I distribute, let's do this together, I'm going to get the square root of what? I said don't do it in your head. Square root three times square root two. Good. Write that out. Write that out. The next thing I'm going to do is multiply the root three times the seven. Am I going to get a plus or a minus? Plus. Root 3 times 7. Root 3 times, don't mistakenly create square roots here. That's a 7, stays a 7. Next thing I'm going to get is what? A plus or a minus? Minus. Minus, minus what? Square root of 5. Uh-huh. Square root of 2. Don't speed through this. And lastly, we've got a minus again. And what? Square root of 5 times 7. Perfect. Root 3, root 2, no problem. Plus root 3 times 7, no root. Minus root 5 times root 2, both roots. Don't lose roots either. Minus root 5 times positive 7, right there, no root. Are you okay on where this is coming from? So I'm not doing anything in my head, I'm just writing it out. I'm just writing it out. That way I can look at this and do this as four really simple, easy problems. We've got the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. Can I make that the square root of 6 or not? Yep. Yes. Perfect. Plus, square root of 3 times 7. Can I make that the square root of 21 or not? No. No, that is actually 7 root 3. Minus. I have the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. Can I make that the square root of 10 or not? Yes. yes. And then minus, I have the square root of 5 times 7, the square root of 35 or not? No. No, that is actually... That's it. 75. Give me the head nod if you're okay getting down to there. It's not hard work. It's just you got to, I mean, all we do is multiplying simple numbers, right? Distributing, multiplying simple numbers. But it's remembering what you can do and what you can't do that's hard. Combined with all the other stuff you've covered in this chapter. Okay, that's, that's what gets tricky, is remembering how to do that. Now we try to simplify. Can you simplify that one? Nope. That one? Nope. That one? Nope. Can I combine any of them? Square root of 6, square root of 3, square root of 10, square root of 5. You're done. As far as you can go. No combining here. There's no like radicals. <clears throat> this one's going to be interesting. Pay close attention to this one we're about to do. Firstly, of course I can FOIL and distribute this thing. Of course, I, of course we can. And we're going to write everything out. So stick with me here, ladies and gentlemen. When we distribute, we get the square root of 5y times the square root of 5y. Here we're going to have minus the square root of 5y times 2. Are you okay with that one? No. No, oh, no. no why not? What's a positive times a negative? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to have plus 
2 times square root of 5y. When you were taught distribution, hopefully your teacher taught you that the signs take care of themselves. You treat these like positive and negative numbers, and you can multiply them together as such. Because you can write this as plus and negative. That's only response. Okay, and then lastly, you're going to have positive 2 times negative 2. You're going to get minus 4. Do you see where the minus 4 is coming from? That one I'll let you do in your head, okay? If you have number times number, you do that. Everything else, write that out. Raise your hand if you're okay getting this far. Good. Now we're going to simplify what we can and see what we can find anything. What's a square root of 5y times a square root of 5y? Square root of 25y squared. Or okay. 20. Great. Yeah. Now I want you to notice this. Right. The square root, <laughs> the square root of 25, you're right. Okay. <laughs> square root of 25. Uh, but I want you to see something. Watch on the board. This is kind of important for you. I'm going to do this another way besides the square root of 25y squared. You can write that if you want. Square, square root of 25y squared. But think about this. You have the square root of 5y times the square root of 5y. That's 5y times 5y, right? Mm -hmm. That's the square root of 5y squared. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. You're multiplying something times itself. You're going to get that thing squared. What's a square root and square do? You get what? In fact, if you think of the square root of 25y squared, square root of 25 is 5. Square root of y squared is y. You get 5y back again. Here's an important concept for you. Whenever you multiply a square root times itself, now this, I, I get to make something real clear, just pay attention for a second. This does not work for the cube root. It doesn't work for the fourth root, or a fifth root, or a sixth root, or any other type of root. But for a square root, if you multiply a square root times itself, here's what's going to happen. And if you think about it, here's why it doesn't happen for a cube root or fourth root. If you multiply something times itself, that radicand is being squared, right? Every time, if you multiply it by itself. If the radicand is squared, a power matches with the root. Now, I want you to think of the cube root. If you multiply a cube root times itself, the inside is still being squared, not cubed. The power will not match the root. Are you with me on that? So this only works for a square root. But for a square root, if you multiply a square root times itself, you get the, the radicand. That's what's going to happen here. So this expression gives you 5y. Square root times itself equals the radicand. Let's go ahead and finish this problem off. We don't have any, much more to do. Firstly, raise your hand if you're okay that that's, it actually equals 5y. Yes, no? Guys over here, yes or mm -hmm. no? Okay. So we're multiplying times itself. You're getting the square root of something squared. The square root of the square will simplify out. You get the radicand, just 5y. You actually don't even need to show your work on that. Square root times itself gives you the radicand every time. Mind How much is this going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Square root of 10y or 2 square root of 5y? Yes. Isn't that a difference of square? Well, we're going to talk about that in a second. So 2 square root of 5y. We have 2. Well, here we can't even multiply that. That's plus 2 square root of 5y. And lastly, this minus 4. Now, something interesting happens. Something real interesting happens. This happens every single time you have, look up here, same expression, different signs. We talked about that earlier in this class in like chapter 7, or actually before chapter 7 in your review. Whenever you have those different signs, your middle terms will simplify out. Because look at you got minus and plus, the same exact expression. They're like radicals. You could combine them. These things are gone. You're going to get 5y minus 4. That's your answer. That's it. Not even a square root. Every single time, every single time that you have this, this is called a conjugate. We'll talk about conjugates later on. Uh, and every time you have a conjugate, that radical will simplify out. One last thing I want to show you, just for briefly, we're not going to actually do this, but if you wanted to do this problem, what would you do first? Write it out. Okay, what I can't have you do is go, oh, this is 3 minus 49, or 3 plus 49. That's not the correct thing. Of course, we'd have to write this out as the square root of 3 minus 7 times the square root of 3 minus 7. Hey, will the middle terms cancel here ultimately? No. You don't have different signs. You now have enough to do your homework. Uh, I won't make it due on Monday. Okay, what I'm, we have about three more examples I want to show you. They'll take maybe five minutes. But you have enough to do the whole thing. So I would recommend you do that because you will have another assignment on Monday.
And remember that we're talking about how to simplify these radical expressions, specifically how to multiply them. Now, there's one thing we learned last time before we left on this type of example. Can I just square this part and square that part and be okay? Now, we actually have to write this thing out as what it means. And this means 5 times the square root of x plus 1 plus 2 times that same thing. So whenever you're faced with a problem like this where it says whatever power that is, Write it out first and then we'll distribute. So remember, when we do stuff like this in our head, that's where the mistakes come in. The more steps we can write out throughout this chapter, the better off you're going to be. So in our case right here, instead of dealing with that in our heads, we're going to write it out as what this actually means. This times itself. Okay, right side of the room. Are my middle terms going to simplify out of this expression, do you think? What do you think? Why not? Yeah, they're, they're both pluses. So we're actually not going to be able to simplify any of these radicals away, like a difference of squares or that, that term I told you last time was a conjugate. We're going to get to that later today. Um, how, how would we do this problem? What are you going to do here now? Yeah, let's distribute that. We're going to go slowly. When we distribute, we're going to write out everything that we have. We're not going to do any of this in our head. So the first thing we'll notice when we do our FOIL, which is our, our shortcut for distribution here, well, not shortcut, but the way we remember how to do distribution here. The first thing we'll do is 5 square root of x plus 1 times 5 square root of x plus 1. This is, look, look up here at the board. This right here is our first term, this entire expression. And this is our first term, our entire expression. Are you with me on that? So here's our first and our second, first and our second. So 5 root x plus 1 times 5 root x plus 1. Then what's going to happen is we're going to have 5 root x plus 1 times 2. Plus another, you don't want to move that down here. Is it okay? Are you guys going to be able to follow me if I move this second part down here? Are you sure? So I have 1, 2, my 3, 4 is going to be right down here. So plus 2 times 5, square root x plus 1. And then lastly, I'm going to get a plus 4. Okay, you stick with me if, if you're, you're here. Let's stick, stick with it here. Are you guys okay on getting this part, firstly? Not sure how to So this is just right there. That's this expression. I'm not doing any math in my head at all. Okay, I do not want you to do that. I want you to write this stuff out. At least that way you have the distribution correct. Once we start doing this in our head, that's where we're going to start making mistakes. We, we can't have that happen. So this part, right there. This part, the 5 root x plus 1 times 2. Remember, that's a positive times a positive. I should get a plus out of that. There's our 5 root x plus 1 times 2. You okay with that part? Then we got a couple more. We got this guy, 2 times 5 times root x plus 1. That's, that's right here. Again, a positive times a positive is a plus. And 2 times 2, that's our, our 4. But you raise your hand if you're all right with that. Now we start going piece by piece and figuring out what we can do and what we can't do. Now, the first expression this is kind of the most important one for you. The 5 root x plus 1 times 5 root x plus 1, you need to know what you can multiply and what you get out of it. 